is Britain. Gets that puck back from the defenceman. Britain shoots short side. It comes off Hulsa. This puck picked up in the corner by Josh Waller. He gets bumped by David Clement. Britain back to the point. Rishaw comes in, tipped in front, they score! A big redirection in front. And the Devils are on the board first here. I don't know whether that took a piece of penny in front of Pavo Hulsa. We'll have a look on the replay here, Stu, but the Devils strike first, just over four minutes into the game. Yeah, shot from the point. Certainly gets a redirection from somewhere. Um, it may well be credited to Ryan Penny. We'll see again. He, you can see Penny just drifts across. He's off the screen at the moment. But as a putt there, you see he's planted right in front of Pavo Hulsa. Yeah. Goalie is always going to struggle when you've got that much of a screen. Blaze keep this alive in the zone. Clements over to Lashinsky. Wrist shot comes in. Saved by Bounds. A rebound. He makes a secondary. And the third save. The puck is still there. And the Blaze are unable to muscle it across the goal line. I think the outstretched glove hand of Bounds came to the rescue. As certainly that was the uh, best offensive chance of the night so far for Coventry. The puck is still in the zone, but under the equipment of the goalie. And he came up big for the Devils there, Stu. I think if it looked like either a hand or maybe a stick from perhaps Ryan Petty there. Sat in front of the net. Got managed to get onto that puck. But, but that was a heart in the mouth moment for Cardiff Devils fans as the, the puck there really had two, three good attempts at ending up in the, net, in the back of the net. Outlet pass finds Britain down this left wing side as we look at it. Josh Waller, he'll be looking to pick up where he left off last season, the speedy Brit. Certainly played his way into the plans of the uh, selectors as Ryan Penny makes a tip out in front, a little bit of pushing and shoving. No love lost clearly for uh, you know, Ryan Penny, the former Blaze man, although we'll see if any penalties are going to be called here. I think they might just let this one settle down. Mitch Cook will bring this across the line amongst the goal scorers last night. Cook, under some pressure from Josh Batch, he'll throw a hit. On Franti, comes back out in front. Clements. Sets so up the one-timer. Big bomb from Brady Norrish. Which cook on that loose puck. Ends up at the feet of Norrish, who's sprawled out on the ice. Him and Davies having a go at each other. Referees let this one continue. Here's Radek Vaselli behind the net. Plays have it behind the goal line. Clements offering himself up, as does Mitch Cook in front. His shot goes wide of the target. Blaze, Blaze power play very effective last night against the Panthers. We're going to pick up where they left off here as the Blaze try and shovel one weak side through Talberg. 50 seconds left of this power play. Here's Vaselli. Shoots far side. He scores. Radic Vaselli ties this game up on the man advantage. I don't know whether this one just beat Ben Bounds, who was unsighted, block aside as we look again, or whether it took a piece of a body in front, but he steps in, fires, and that's a wonderful finish. That's a really good seeing eye shot as well. Look again how Radic Vesely comes in, he turns, looks to see where the defenseman has set himself and plays it round him as a screen. Fantastic piece of awareness there on the power play. Blaze level it up, one apiece. Yeah, Uh, you know, he was a guy that I, I, I really remember vividly when we signed him. As uh, the Blaze going to have a chance with Peyton Franti. He will shoot short side, he scores! A broken play leaves Franti to march into the offensive zone and gets the Blaze in front. Two goals to one, a wrist shot, short side that found daylight, and the Blaze in front once again, Stu. Yeah, a broken play, like you say. You see Franti just sort of pick that puck up, get slipped through, and then look straight away, finds the absolute sweet spot. It's right above just above the leg pad, just below where the glove can get it. It's really hard for the netminder to stop it in that spot, even if they get a perfect vision of it. Minute to go. Jardine, oh, he dumps that one in, but it looks like it caught a Blaze man in the face, and that's caught the ire of a couple of the teammates of the Blaze man down there who's a little slow to get up. Pushing and shoving still as we keep an eye on Brady Norrish. I think he's mixing up with Sam Jardine down there. It's Nathaniel Halbert who took that puck up high. And the Devils think about trying to start back up ice here. It's a little chip in for 
Hulser to try and claim. He does. Wraps it around the boards. That was a caught on a too many, so they have to leave the puck, and Marley Quince will rock it into the offensive zone. As a result, short side cheeky one off the frame. Yellowhorn's going to attack the back door. Yellowhorn on the one-timer. Attempted from that saucer pass at full tilt. Unsurprisingly, couldn't make connection. If he would have done, it would have been a hero play. Here is Colton Yellowhorn. Somehow gets it around Richardson. Toe drag from Yellowhorn to the back door, looking for the pass. He should have shot. And Colton Yellowhorn showing his skill, showing his uh, selflessness. And Clements can pick that puck back up. Jumps off for Lashinsky. Yellowhorn gets that pass. Comes across the line. Yellowhorn shooting upstairs and a save. I don't know whether that came off the, the blocker or the mask, but it was right between the shoulders from Colton Yellowhorn there. 31-29. Talberg to the half wall. Vaselli shovels one. Norrish back from Clements on the forehand. Shot low, looking for something. Didn't catch bounds out, though. Got a piece of it on the way through. Here's Clements again. One time from Norrish. A big block in front of him. Josh Batch doing what he does best, clogging up the lanes. That one will leave a mark, though, as... Vesely keeps it alive. Here's Tolberg back for Norrish. Steps in, fires short side block, a good save from Bounds, and on the second uh, look at it, paddles it away. Lays camped out in the offensive zone on this man advantage. Tolberg behind the net, finds Norrish again. Kim Tolberg out in front, a chance for Cook, he just couldn't get anything on it. Here's Clements. Out to the right wing side. Radek Vaselli. Drops it off to Clements. Norrish steps in, fires! Might have caught a piece of Tolberg on the way through. And that was a big power play shift from the Coventry Blazers. All running through Clements and Norris. How great is it to see David Clements running a power play? Yes. Talbot puts his foot down. He's going to try and lug this into the zone. Quince. Oh, nice feed from Quince! Big goal, Billings! The vision of Marley Quince to pick out Jack Billings was sublime. And the finish was pretty good too, Stu, as the Coventry Blazers have got a two-goal lead now as we look again. Quince turns around, sees the player there. Billings has got a little bit of space, but there's still work to be done. There's a Devils player right on his shoulder. Manages to get that shot off and get it in the back of the net. Bounds has moved across. He isn't quite set at the point where that shot's taken as well, which certainly works to the Blaze forwards' advantage. Yeah. He's going back out there with the uh, with the righties, with Clements on the puck and Norrish. Has, oh, a little fake shown by Clements and Duggan bit hard. He blew an edge as a result, and the Blaze get into the zone. Oh, Clements is going to like that one when he sees it back. As, as Jardine will chase that one back into his own zone. There won't be icing. Looks up to the left wing. Nice feed. Crandall on the drop off. Looks in the net, Pavel Hulsa lifts the catcher up, but doesn't need to do anything with it. There's Yellowhorn on that loose puck's gonna get a two on one with Billings. Yellowhorn came off the defenseman. Tried to feed that through the right play. Just took a piece of, I think, the leg pad off, maybe the skate. Two minutes to go in the second period. Blaze three, Devils one. A high tempo hockey game here in the Midlands. Live with you on Blaze TV Live. Oh, there's a chance out in front. Holzer makes the first save. Puck scrambling in and around. And Bob oh, Billings gets a glove in the mouth as he was trying to box that one out away from Pavo. It's Pavo Hulsa. Well, a bad bounce off the backboards caught him a, a, a little unawares and he scrambles to keep a couple of chances out. Wowzer. Yes. Billings in a a race with Batch. Puck is still there for Jack Billings, who sends it to the point, dumped back in by Halbert, who ends up having to fight for that puck back in the neutral zone, Nathaniel Halbert. Now it's Brady Norrish. Hard stretch pass. Oh, great vision from Norrish. Quince is in. Glove save from Bounds. It got behind him, but not enough to light the lamp from Marley Quince. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Let's look at this again on the replay, Stu. Yeah, Blaze turn it around quickly there's some really great vision here from Norris sends it right down the middle Quince comes in and that just trickles I don't think it was going in I think it was still coming past the post but excellent vision to turn it straight up the ice 
Yep, nice play from Jardy down. There's a chance on the back door. Shot big save from Pavo Hulsa. Big opportunity, I think, from Richardson. Hulsa diving across makes the save and it keeps it. Blaze three, Devils one. What a play from Pavo. Yeah. Lovely pick out here across sees Mark Richardson coming in. He's pinched in, there's nobody with him. Holster has tracked that across, got himself into position and made an excellent save. Goals are never far away when Joey Martin's on the ice as Holster comes out to play the puck, scrambles back into his net. That was a wonderful bit of goalie control with his skating. There's a chance out in front, makes the glove save, point blank from Pavo Holster. Devils not done yet on this shift offensively. Here's Richardson. 40 seconds left in this power play for Cardiff. They're back in the zone now. Crawford waiting at the point, gets the pass, drops it off. Another one time, a thought about by Reed, hadn't got the trade he wanted cleanly. Reed looking at the lines, drops in behind the goal line. Out comes Lashinsky, puck comes out too. Blaze can't clear the zone. Crawford, Reed, shoot short side, block a save from Hulsa. How much of this pressure can the Blaze take? Cook gets in the passing lane, does a nice job, and for all intents and purposes, that's all she wrote in the penalty kill. And oh my goodness gracious me, again Stu, it bent like a willow in the wind, but it didn't snap. Johnston. Twisting, turning, thinking about what he wants to do with it, finds the point, his yellow horn. Back to where it came for Halbert, shot down low, looking for the tip. Oh, it came out, off bounds his pads. Nobody there in a Blaze jersey to swipe it home. Outlet pass, finds Peyton Franti. Drops that puck off. Shot comes in, good save off Venus from Bounds, who's going to head immediately to the bench. Cox to the right wing side, shot comes in, stopped by Hulser off the shoulder. And now the Devils are gonna try and camp this one out in the zone. Jardine. To this left wing side, Brody Reed gets that one back. A melee ensues in front of Hulsa. Reed takes it to the top. He's under some pressure. Devils retain possession. Franti off the boards, can't really do anything with it. Look at the point with Jardine, drops it off. Some pressure from Venus. Lashinsky. Tries to throw the hit, the puck comes out in front and a big old hit from Venus. Kind of out the blind side. And that's gonna get everybody upset as the Blaze somehow able to muscle it to the empty net. And that seals another four point weekend. Two in the league, two in the cup. And it's something in the water for this Coventry Blaze team in the 2022-2023 season. A big win against the Cardiff Devils incoming, and I think it was Curran who got the empty net, sorry, Lashinsky into the empty net, pardon me, Stu. Yeah, I think uh, Lashinsky there getting the empty net there. Great play from the Blaze, just tightening up, getting really tight. Got those five men all in around the, the, the dot area. That'll be all she wrote here in the Sky Dome Marine. The Blaze first Challenge Cup game of the year goes down with a big win against the Cardiff Devils. You can join us back here on Sunday next week as the Coventry Blaze take on the Fife Flyers. It'll be a league game. Guildford Flames host the Coventry Blaze on the Saturday down in Surrey. But for now, let's go to the ice and let's go to Pavo Hulsa with his trademark, Pavo Splash. <laughs> I can't help but smile every time I see it. It's fantastic.